Hi everybody, we're going to do a question and answer on our sport chino, which is our machine washable chino. So let's have a look. I'm wearing a pair today, and I'll point out some of the interesting features. So we do a little officer style coin pocket here. Um, it's a little bit tapered, but not super tapered. We actually leave quite a lot of excess in the thigh. And I'll tell you the reason for that. It's because when you're wearing a cotton chino, especially a slightly heavier one, like the ones that we do, you want to have room to do that. You know, if you're going to be stepping forward, like you need a little bit of extra behind there or it's just going to get really grabby and kind of uncomfortable. So that's why we do our chinos just a little bit fuller than everyone else's. In terms of rise, it sits just above the hip and just under the belly button. So it's kind of a medium to high rise chino. Uh, I normally like to cuff it. You don't have to. You could also just roll the bottom or just cut it. Um, but for me, I, I like having a, uh, a cuff on there. And um, one thing, this is the earliest version. So the later versions, which is what we have on sale now, we added one more detail, which is this seam here. This is the sort of seam that you would use if you were to double stitch the edge of the trouser. But for me, I always found that like double stitching the edge of the trouser, once you put it with some tailoring, it almost looks too casual. You know, it reminds you of like Carhartt work trousers. Um, so we did it this way instead, so that we could put it together with chinos more easily. Or if you want to just wear it on its own with a t-shirt or a polo or something, it would still look good. Let's look at some styling for these. So we got khaki, we've got dark taupe, and we've got blue. With the khaki, I would suggest this navy blazer that we're doing this year. So it's cotton and wool, and it's got a really nice deep two-color twill in it. And you know, details like this, like the mich like the pick stitching, I think match really well with this slightly more pronounced side seam on the trouser. In terms of tops, um, you know, all the obvious subjects, uh, white polo or white t-shirt, or if you were to wear the trousers on their own, I think a navy polo could also look really good like that. I also want to show you, we've only got one of these left, unfortunately, um, but this was one of my favorite things we did in the last couple of years. It's a honey, blue, uh, it's a honey gold silk blazer from Ratu Luciano. And that with a white polo and then that chino, I think it's just really awesome together. You know, very tone on tone. And I think what you could do even just to make it a little more interesting is use some sort of very blue, bright blue pocket squirt in there just to liven it up a little bit. Okay, moving on, let's look at the taupe. So for the taupe, you know, it's quite dark. It's really not, it's really not taupe. It's like a dark taupe or somewhere between a brown and a gray. Um, I would suggest this. So do tone on tone, but do it dark on the bottom and light on the top. So this is our safari from this season. I really like that together. And then I think for the tops, again, like white polos, white t-shirts, you know, something light is a nice way to just transition between these two things. Or I also really like this. We did a seersucker suit this year that's not the same as the normal ones. It's 100% wool rather than cotton. And it's not white on gray or blue on gray. It's actually uh, gray on beige. So given the very warm tone to the seersucker, I think it looks really nice with this taupe chino as well. And again, this is the sort of thing you would pair with a white shirt uh, would probably be the ideal. Okay. Finally, let's look at the blue trouser. Because the blue trouser, you know, a lot of people, even on my team, find the blue trouser a bit of a funny thing. But I, I like it, and I know there are certain people who are like um, quite adamantly for it. One of the arguments is that, well, a blue trouser, why wouldn't you just wear jeans, right? I can see where they're coming from, and that's why this trouser is this color of blue, because it's not something that is comparable to a jean, and it would complement well given its brighter color with either this, which I like. So that's another like tone on tone blue arrangement. So this is kind of blue, pale blue, purple, brown, and a little bit of cream mixed together. And I think you could mix that with this, an ecru, uh, an ecru polo like that. Or this sort of thing. 
which would look good, obviously, with denim as well. We've shown this jacket before with gray trousers, but I think if you want to have some color instead, I think that is really nice together, like that. And that's pretty interesting. Okay, there you go. So that's Sport Chino. A few ways you could potentially style it, kind of some of the special features of it. And uh, thanks for watching.